this is my day 3 vlog of Beijing and on this day I went to the Great Wall of China and to another stellar place called the Gubei Water Town. Let's check it out. To begin with, I hired a private car to get to both places as they were 2 hours away from Beijing and therefore having a car sounded comfortable. There are bus options as well but then you have to stick to the timings which I didn't want to. Also I couldn't find the bus connection between these two places I chose so the car was the safe bet for me. So now we are exploring Gubei water town. It's a little ancient style town which is surrounded by this reservoir and um, it's a beautiful town I see, have seen pictures and ever since that I really wanted to come here. So let me show you how it is. My first stop was Gubei water town which is in Myun County in Beijing. A few steps into the town and I was already in love. That was just the entrance. Now I'm walking towards the ticketing area. Yes, there are tickets to get to the main town. 140 RMB per person for a day visit but if you are staying in one of the resorts inside the town then one has to pay only 80 RMB. We are walking now inside the Gubei water town and it's absolutely so beautiful. We have already taken like thousands of pictures and we are yet not done and we have walked only for 10 minutes probably. The Gubei water town surrounds the beautiful Mandarin Duck Lake Reservoir. It has a combination of mountains, water and ancient villages. Most buildings are reconstructed in the traditional courtyard style based on five ancient villages and a water resource. It is not a historical water town. It's a replica of Wuzhen water town in the southern China and has developed into a sightseeing and holiday destination. Hotels, lots of eateries, and to top it all, picture sites everywhere. It's a super sunny day, but it is so amazing. You actually need one full day to cover the entire town, and we have only a couple of hours right now, but it is like something never seen before. There is a lot of walking but if you get tired you can also get into mini shuttles that would take you around or quaint boat rides along the reservoir. I love the 
old fashioned simplicity, scattered river channels, and stunning backdrops that gave me amazing pictures. Every spot here was a sight to behold. One of the sections of the Great Wall, which is Sima Thai, can be accessed from Gube Water Town. And uh, it is the only section which is open in the night. You can do a night hike over there. And the most dangerous section as well. Most of it is unrestored and stuff like that. This is probably how the town looks from Sima Thai section of Great Wall in the evening. So yeah. Just in case if you want. After spending three stunning hours at this place, it was time to go to the Great Wall of China, which was just half an hour away. While I am on my way, let me tell you a few basic things about the wall. The Great Wall is 6,000 kilometers long and the best 10 sections to visit are near Beijing. People usually go to one or two sections of Great Wall or a hike between two three sections. Every section is unique in its own way. Some are fully restored, some are half restored, some are wild and some are just beautiful. I chose the most beautiful and crowd-free sections of the Great Wall, which is called Jin Chilling section. Let's see how was it. So to go to the Great Wall, we have first taken a tickets from the base counter. We will be taking a trolley to the wall and the tickets we will get from uh, where this shuttle bus will drop us. After buying tickets to the Great Wall, I took a golf cart style shuttle one way to reach the main gate. One can also walk the whole way to the main entrance of the wall which would take about an hour. Post that I bought a cable car tickets one way as I decided to walk back down. One can hike or take cable car both the ways. It was a 15 minute beautiful cable car ride. Here comes the first glimpses of the massive Great Wall. The wall stretches as far as the eyes could see. It is one of the most famously celebrated human achievements. Built over many years by many dynasties over 22 centuries, it was built to protect the Chinese Empire from Mongolians and other invaders. Nearly 4 lakh people died building the wall and hence it's also called the longest cemetery on earth. We spotted a rainbow just now at the Great Wall. Oh my god, it's so pretty. These are the watchtowers and they were used to watch enemy movements and transmit signals. There are about 25,000 watchtowers. Some are close and some are at a distance of several miles.
it is so steep at some parts it is actually very very scary at some parts it's absolutely vertical climb so can you please walk slowly One of the best feelings of this world is walking on one of the seven wonders of the world. Here is the recap of the week. So we came from Beijing all the way up here at the Jinxialing Tourist Center. We took a shuttle that dropped us at the ticket checkpoint. And from there we bought the tickets of the cable car. We reached at the Shao Jinshan Tower. And after crossing four towers we exited from Shalingao. And now we will walk back to the checkpoint and take shuttle again to go to the parking. After spending 4 hours, we bid goodbye to the Great Wall. It was indeed the best day out of the 5 days spent in Beijing. Another vlog to be followed. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And hey, share it with friends. See you next time.